Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a kidding down and we're gonna be doing more specials and rhinestones. This is, yeah, the only way I could keep up with um, kidding down my specials and rhinestones is to do a mass kidding down of it. So I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different diamond paintings here. Yes, so let's get this show on the road. Um, let's see. So I like doing, so if you haven't seen one of my kidding downs for specials, I do put my special drills in these bottles here. I do have more containers. Um, and I have this near me while I'm diamond painting so that if I look at a diamond painting, I'm like, I kind of want to add some like um, pink rhinestones or something. I have it right next to me. Um, so yeah, so then I have them in not in like any like order of color. I mean, not in any order of number, but they're in order of color. So that's why it's not in order of numbers. But the in order of color works for me because I don't. There's no like good DMC to DMC match for the crystal rhinestones. Well, there is, there is a, um, there is like a table that has the DMC matches, but I kind of prefer to just go th look through them and be like, yeah, I think that's the one that will match better. So, so, but I, for whatever reason, I still like having the crystal coat on them. So, so some diamond paintings will actually have the crystal coat on there. So like that five is actually the crystal coat. And if I have a five, wait, is this a pink? And if I have a five, I think, oh, look, they might match. So, and then I put them together. So, and, and a lot of diamond paintings don't have a crystal coat. So, you know, you just kind of have to make do. So, um, I'm going to do all the clears first. Um, and then I have special shapes in this, my, so this has all my special shapes, which I don't really have next to me if I need it. Um, and any excess um, rhinestones that don't fit in the bottles anymore. So I'm going to do all the clears first since that is the easiest one to get and I know it's number one. So I was testing out whether I could use the double-sided tape as um, my adhesive and it actually comes off really well. Um, so hey, there. So, let's see. Oh, the problem with this, I can't really see what's in here. So, none of these, oh, this one, nope, that's 198. None of them is named number one. Oh wait, this one's 001, um, which has like one left. But this one is number eight also, so here's more clear. So, I guess I can't see the color as well in the Tic Tac containers than on those ones so I might have to just kind of take them out um, but I know what's um, I know what number clear is it's number one so and there's no more in here and there's still a couple in this one So the clears are easy. What is this? This is red. It's this color here. I'm just going to add it to here so that I'm not confused later on. So this was just like excess because it was a lot. Okay, so no more in there. And so it does seem like the canvas comes off the tape, but the tape will come off also. Um, so, and that's just because the, this is ones that I ended up using the um, double-sided tape. Okay, so I'm gonna have to think about how to get to the Tic Tac containers. The Tic Tac containers, I might just have to sort them out now so I could see them. So there's green, 
and then I'm just I'm gonna just do the rhinestones because and I know they're rhinestones just based off the code um, it doesn't have like that extra number so I'm just gonna take them out so that I can get to them because I can't see the colors in the Tic Tac container boxes so this one has nothing left and this one has nothing left too so yes I'm just taking out the all the ones that are not specials oh and this one's an AB so I'll put that off to the side and then I'll go back to this later on so I'm just going to take those out just so that I can see them and then now I'm just going to look for anywhere else that has a clear the clear color so or so that one is the AB clear one um, and then I'm also going to just do black since I'm here and then the rest I'm going to do by color but and here's a white And then the specials will be later. I have to remember not to to close the containers because I'm gonna just open them again so there's no clears in those ones. Nothing in that one either. Actually this one they're all specials so there's I'm not gonna need to get to that one yet. And let's see. And this one, that's a clear. The clear is actually the easiest one to kit down because there's only clear and then the clear with the AB. <laughs> Everything else is where things go wrong. Okay, so is this the one with flat tops? Okay, so the black drills, I don't know if you've ever done special shapes, the flat, the black um, rhinestones have a flat top while regular diamond painting black, I mean regular diamond painting drills have a pointier, pointy top unless diamond dots. Diamond dots has the not pointy top. So these ones are actually with the four stuck together because I think I ran out of the containers that are separate containers. So okay so the double-sided tape on this one did not come off as easily as the other ones have been so but it hasn't it's not that bad so these are the flat top black yeah that one came off nicely so so a lot of these are actually have the the codes on them so that'll make it easier so this one says it's one and i know one is the clear so and I'm just putting them all together so that it'll be easier to pour into whatever I need to, whichever container I need to pour it into. Um, and oh, this one. Oh, this is, is, is this one the glow in the dark drills? I'm going to, I don't think these are the glow in the dark drills. No, these are just the white drills. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if in some of my white drills I, I accidentally mixed in the glow-in-the-dark because sometimes they're not clear whether it's a glow-in-the-dark drill or not. Um, okay, these ones are a little bit harder for me to see because the container is colored, so this is the clear one. So, And that's why I'm probably not going to use these containers again for the special shapes with the way I kit down, just because... Um, it's, it's just not going to work. So I have like a whole bunch of really old diamond paintings that I kitted up this way that I just have not kitted down. And I've just been periodically adding them to my kitting downs so that I could just finish them. I actually have two more that I have to do, but I thought with this pile of how many I had to kit down already, it was, this is plenty. This is probably going to be a long video. I think I'm, I think I've, I've desensitized myself from 
not from caring about making the long videos. It's the only way I'll be able to keep up. Like, I already post a lot. I think I post a lot. Now that's, that's a yellow. Okay, just making sure. This, yeah, this one's gonna be, these ones are gonna be hard to do. Um, I'm almost tempted to just get like a whole bunch of green trays and just um, try to kick them down together. Yeah, that one's, yeah, that's the clear one. And, well, I guess if I miss them, I miss them. Okay, so, and then I got all the clears from the Tic Tac containers. Okay, got, so my clear is actually very full. So, um, and I'm actually already have two full bags of the clear ones and I'm on my third bag here. So yes, I get the clear one a lot. Um, so I need to use, I need to use these. I don't know what, I mean, yeah, I could, maybe I could like, if I have something with, and then I, these are just the white ones, just the regular white drills. And I just have a piece of paper in the back there so that the bag will, will stay upright. Um, I do have thicker bags, but I think I'm going to keep those for my regular drills um, instead of my specials. So, and then this is my clear with the AB coating, which, yeah, I know my bottle is already full too. <laughs> so I kind of ripped my bag here a little bit. Um, I do get my baggies. I just keep my baggies from diamond paintings, so some that's why they're not all the same. But I have also recently bought some thicker bags that I'm periodically using. Okay, so my um, black that's with the flat top is already full, so I'm gonna get a new bag here. I'm gonna use one of these taller bags. because I figure I'm going to get a lot of this one. And I know black is actually 93 <laughs> in the crystal code. So, so 093. So I'll put that there. But yeah, now I'm on my second bag for <laughs> the blacks. That's what happens. So now we're going to do the reds, that's usually what's next in my color schemes. Sometimes though these are so hard to figure out if they're red or orange or pink. Um, and at least these ones have codes, so I, this one is the only red that I see. And I actually do already have a 70 here. Is it say 70? Yeah, that says 70. It doesn't match. Why are they doing this to me? I'm very tempted to just make another bottle that says 70 in case in the future I get. Um, and I do probably still have another sticker for 70. So, because I printed these labels out twice. Um, so since I have extra bottles, I'm just going to make another bottle for 70 on the off chance that this one is really number 70. Um, Because who's correct? I don't know. Someone called this 70 at some point. Let's move that down a little bit so that they're in order. So let's look for any other reds. So none of these have the codes in them. So they're just going to get put into a container here to match by color. Much harder than the crystal rhinestones. And, okay, so these are yellows. That looks like it's a pink. And those are greens. No, those are reds. So that one, let's see. This one could be a red. And, yeah, so that's why I'm probably not going to use these ones for any of my special shape ones now that I color match because 
it's hard for me to tell what's in there. But these are just really old diamond paintings, I'm telling you. Like, super old diamond paintings from... Yeah. <laughs> and you can see that I'm behind... I was, I'm, I was behind on my kidding downs for the specials, mainly because for a long time, I was just pondering how I'm going to kit them down. It was just mainly because I just didn't know what I was planning to do, so then when you don't know what you're planning to do, you kind of just put it off to the side and you're like, oh, well, I have more storage. Yes, I do. I have plenty of storage. <laughs> so, so some more reds. I know, I think 198. Did I put 198 in red? No, that's an orange. Uh, no, that's purple. Okay. I don't see a red in this one. Oh, these ones kind of look red. Here. This one actually looks like that one. So. And I've noticed that a lot of these um, drills, even though they have different numbers to them, they look so similar that I think if I didn't have the number, I wouldn't, I would probably group a whole bunch of things together. So that's a pink. Um, and in this one, that's a pink too. Okay, so actually I don't have many reds today. Um, I must have, it must have not been in the theme of colors that I was doing here. And none of these had the crystal codes to them, so I'm thinking this is number four. Yeah, that is number four. And that looks like number three. My three is almost getting full, but I know my four is already my four is already full, so let me get my container for four which I might have to get a new bag soon because it's very full too. So, you know, if I ever need any red to bling anything up, I, I, yeah, see, this is why, um, if I want to bling something up, I'll just bling it up, um, because I just have so much extra. Oh, wait, this does look like num that one. Or, nope, it actually looks like this one, so, yay. All right, found a match. You know what, and do I have, nope. So next, usually I do is pink, and I actually have a lot of colors for pink. So these are all pink. So let's do the pink, and luckily some of these already have codes to them. So, so 150. That is a good match. So let's just pour that in there. See, 150 was one of those ones that was not in my little spreadsheet of um, crystal codes, so I that's why I don't have a little swatch of it because, yeah, it wasn't in the spreadsheet, which I got from. Where did I get it from? I think I got it from like Crystal Canvas Art Designs, and then I had a viewer send me another one so then I just was like oh okay so is it this one or this one it's actually this version of six I have like two versions of six and they look different so so let me just see if that will fit at the top there it was only a little bit left so even though my bottle is very full <laughs> so yeah two versions of six because why not? Um, <laughs> that one. And then number 10 does not look like number 10. Sometimes I notice that the ones nearby kind of look like the one that's there. Okay, so now that does not look like... I'm pondering whether to put, make another version of number 10. Um, because I think I need more white. 
Or will I just find a match for this and then just leave it? And just leave. It actually looks very much like this one that's number 65. Um, so I'm just going to put it in number 65 because I already have a bottle for it. So. Yep, the numbers are not precise, but sometimes they work out. I'm wondering sometimes, though, if when, like, let's say they it is supposed to be number 10, but at that point in time they didn't have enough of whatever number 10 was, so then they just chose, like, a similar color. So, so yeah, that is number 5 there. Okay. There you go. And then let's see if there's any more pinks. Okay, so here's a pink. These don't have codes, so I'm going to have to do it by color. Here's more pinks. Another pink. Oh, wait, this is a big one. I'll go back to it. I'm gonna oh, here's here's a lighter pink. And I don't know if that's a pink or an orange. I'm just gonna pour it out. It kind of looks like it could be pink or an orange. That's the problems with doing these things by color. It's like, uh, I don't know. Which one is it? Um, so none of these match, well, none of those had codes. These ones have codes, so I'll do those later. Then, let's see, this one does not have a code either. So let me get another tray. It's a good thing I have tons of trays. Okay, everything else is a special. And then let's see. No pink in this one. And this one has a code. So. And the ones from this one had a code too. And this one. And that one. Okay. Need to remember not to. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's these ones. I need to remember not to close the containers. I'm so used to like opening it and then wanting to close it that these are green. That's an orange. Ooh, this one's pink. I'm so used to like wanting to open a container and then close it. I don't know when I close the that it's like a reaction. <laughs> so that one, that pink doesn't match any of them yet. So what is this color? That's an orange. That's going to be in the next round. Here's another pink. And that's a purple. Okay. So I think I got all the pinks. So do any of these match each other? That one looks like that one. Otherwise, nothing is blatantly standing out as matching. So let's just first do these ones with the codes. So this looks like neither of them. Seriously? <laughs> But it does look like this one. So. And I already have two number sixes. So. Yeah, this number five at least matches. There. And. Let's see if ten. Ten matches. This doesn't match. 
But I feel like I remember I had that other 10 and that doesn't match either. Maybe I should make another 10. <laughs> or maybe it's number 11. No, that's not 11. Like I said, sometimes it's like the one right next to it. So number 10 doesn't match either. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, but number 11 is a beautiful match. So I feel like that's the second time I had number 10 and it didn't match. Maybe I should make another bottle for 10. Because I do probably still have another sticker for number 10. So I could do it. But I'll check to see if these are a match for anything else before I do that. So for now, let's check these other ones out. So five, looks like none of them. No. Yeah, no, this is number six. So this one is full already. So let me see if I have So I really do have a bag made for number six because um, I used to store them in the baggies until it, it annoyed me to to bling up from the baggies. So then I that's when I started I, that's when I moved them to the containers, um, and I've been much happier blinging up from the containers. So eight nine. Actually, I actually think this one looks like nine. So put that in there. Well, there's I have another nine. This actually looks like the other nine. See, this is what I mean. Like sometimes I have two things that are named number nine, and I told you my problems with number ten. This one actually looks like number 10. So, or whatever I have designated as number 10. <laughs> nope. I should put these in things too. So wait, did this really not? No, actually this looks like number 6. I don't know, this one. I think it just the container it just looked different. So Yeah. The problem with the these um containers, it's a little harder to see the colors in there, so it looks different enough that sometimes you're just like, oh no, that's not the right match. And it is, it is. Um too much number six and no that doesn't look like that one and it doesn't look like that either nope I actually think this it looks like 65 and I feel like that other time I thought that number 10 looked like 65 also um, oh well I have a place to put it, at least. It would maybe I might make um. It might be something to do to make another one. Um. See, I swear these two look ex no, they look a little different. One fifty. Or is it those one fifty one? It looks like one fifty. So this one is one fifty here, and. I did not find a match for this one, but I do have more um, containers here, and these are just the ones I don't have a number for, and it's this one. Um, and uh, off camera, I just went through my stuff before and started like consolidating these things into here because I found that there were matches, I just didn't. Um, apparently find it until I went and started com comparing them to here. So 
Okay, so there's the pinks. So after that, I usually do my yellows and oranges, and I do have them over two containers here. Um, so this is the beginning of my yellows and oranges. So 68. Do I have the 68 in here? Or 68 in with my browns? I actually don't have a 68. So I have to ponder if that's brown or orange. I might put these in brown. They look more like brown. So I put the yellows and the oranges together just because um, I feel like it's really hard for me to see when when it changes from yellow to orange. Um, so that's 193 there. It is much easier if one, it matches what I currently have, and two, if it already has a code. So this is 23. Yep. The question is, am I going to be able to fit the rest of this in here? Um, 23. I remember um, my mom accidentally dropped like one of the containers. Um, well, she, she dropped one of her trays, and then I was like, she's like, do I really need these, or can I just throw it away? And I'm like, what color is it? And she's like, oh, it's this. Tw it's 23. So then I go look at my stash, and I'm like, yeah, no, ma, just throw it away. I have plenty of 23. <laughs> And, and that's also another reason to keep um, the drills is do you really want to use drills that you that fell on the floor that now you have to sweep up you know eh. oh, there's still one more in there I don't know Will my tweezers fit in there? There. I'm just gonna throw that. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Another reason to keep your drills is because one, you want to, at least these ones, you want to use it to add some extra bling to your diamond paintings. Or two, you dropped your diamond painting <laughs> um, tray. Do I really want to sweep it up and put it back onto my... Do I, like, yeah. You could... You can sweep it up and use it, but you know, your floor is dirty. I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm like, eh. Yeah, no, just sweep it up. And then, like, I mean, I have, I don't have carpet on most of my floors. So, yeah, that would just be a pain. So, I do have a lot of this one, and then yellow. But you know what ends up also happening is like you get a diamond painting and you realize oh you're missing like a completely different color um or you're missing like a color that might be in browns oh well um so then you just look through your stash and you're like oh look i do have it um so then you're just then you're like okay you don't have to worry about buying it or something like that for, like, I, other than the specials, I have actually not bought any drills, um, except for, you know, my stuff that I'm doing for my cross-stitch pattern heaven and earth designs thing. Oops! I didn't realize this tray was upside down. I don't know if you can tell. Okay. Oh, there. Now the tray. <laughs> but no, I have, other than my ABs and... I did buy square rhinestones because you don't get those in specials, but they're beautiful when you put onto diamond paintings. Other than those, I and ABs, I haven't really bought any drills. I think if I I did actually find out I needed something and I didn't have it, I would probably look like there are websites where you can um there are websites where you can find the closest dmc because the dmc numbers are from you know cross stitching and you can just find the closest one and then if i find one that's the closest one i'll just completely 
if it, and if it's close enough to the diamond painting, like like let's say I, I I had only a couple left, I'll use it. Um, as long as it's not in a completely um, color blocked section, it should be fine to not have the exact match. So I'm gonna put back some of these boxes that I emptied out. Um, it's 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 okay to not have a complete match just because mm, this one because most of the time if it's um, as long as it's not a color block section it's you can't tell as much okay so this one need a new tray because these are the ones that are stuck more together, which I've tried not to use for the specials, but I ran out of um, storage. And hence why I'm, I'm actually kidding down because I'm going to have to kit up a couple more. <laughs> well, I'm going to kit up a couple more specials and I need the storage. So I have another one here that's orange. So it looks like there was a lot of yellows and oranges, at least in this pile of diamond paintings that I I'm kidding down. Um, I don't even know what these are anymore. Like I have, I put in a number at the top and I have, I put that same number on the canvas so that they can connect to each other. Um, I've actually been thinking of cutting out the picture, you know, the little, t little teeny tiny thumbnail that's on the canvas and putting them onto my um, storage. Because I thought, hey, you know, I could I could do that. Why wouldn't I be able to do that? Um, so that one's yellow. Okay. So this one looks like that one. And that one looks like that one. And I don't know. They look similar, but I'm not going to put them together. Okay, so I have some other ones that don't have codes. So that one and that one. And they both look like that one, which is, I think this is number 23. Because <laughs> I think I get that one a lot. So. No, that's actually not 23, it's 22, which is full. <laughs> so let me go get my container for 22 here. See, I'm actually getting used to them, the colors now that I'm like, oh, I already, I, I've been kidding down so many specials that I think I, I kind of have them Memorized almost. No, actually not. I don't. So 193. Yeah, that's. And is this? Yeah, that's 193 also. So that works out. At least I could put that in there. And I would not do this with regular diamond painting drills just because they have way more numbers. There's like way, way more numbers. Okay, so 195. Yep, that looks like a match. I think I could, I think I could fit this last dregs into here. So I have plenty of this one now. <laughs> 195. Wait, did I do didn't I do 194? I don't know if this is gonna fit. No, it's not gonna fit. So that's it for 194. So I probably do have the bag already made for it, probably. And I actually already started putting things into there. 
So, because the bottle is very full. But I figure, I, I, I figure at, the, at some point these are going to get empty because I'm going to use them and might as well just put it into the bottle instead. So, so 194, oops, no, okay, my labels, so 74, this one is full. Is that 74? No, I don't think that's 74. I think... No, that's not... I think these are the same, but they're not, I don't think they're 74. Um, I might change my mind. So, yeah, it's not that easy to pour from these little bottles. It's much easier to pour into the baggies from like the Tic Tac containers or the bottles but not these ones with the latches. So, for kidding down purposes, there might be a point in using, um, wait, what am I? So, there. 74. Forgot, I should get my marker so I know where. What I'm looking for. So that's 74. Um, 198. I think that matches. Okay. Yeah. So 198. Nope. Oh, I think I threw one in here. Oh well. <laughs> and let's see. 18. And 18. Yeah, that's close enough. Oh my. It's, there's a lot of static going on. I actually put, turned on my, my humidifier like right before I started this video, so it's probably not humid enough in here. But I'm hoping... I bought... I, I saw it was like on, on one of those like good deals for a humidifier so i have like a big one and i'm planning like when i'm kidding up or something when i start recording videos um my kidding up is actually the usually the last video i record because i have to kip down so that i have stuff to put things in so 15 this actual one looks like 15. so let's put that in there and nope. I actually think these are the same. That's not that one. No, no. I'm right. I'm just kind of looking at them, and I'm like, no, those are not it. No, that's not it either. No, 74 is too dark. That's not it. No. No. Come on, I must have this, I'm sure. It's not 15. It's not 16. I have... And... No, it is 74. It's 74. So... No, 74 is darker. Do I have, like, a not as... No... It's actually this one, so I just don't have a uh, code for it yet. So, yeah, these... So until I find out what this is, apparently I got this one a good amount. So, I don't know if it's all going to fit into the Tic Tac container. Do I have a bigger one? Might get one of an, a bigger Tic Tac container. So, do you have 
bigger one just because it's not going to all fit. And until I have a code for it, I don't want to separate out the color, the stuff. So. So this will just be orange. And I know they have a couple empties in here, so there. And if I take something, I have to replace the Tic Tac container, so there. Okay, so I got those. So next I usually do, okay, so I'm done with this first tray here so I can move this down. Next I usually do what looks like green. So let's get all the greens here. And there's a green. Start filling these. Let's see. No green in there. This one's green. Let's see. Oh, I could fill some of these boxes. Here, so no green in there. That's green, green, and no more empty boxes. <laughs> so, okay, these were where it's gonna get harder. I think that's brown. There's a green. Also, the problem with having storage in boxes for a long time, no matter how removable the labels were before, sometimes they just don't come off. You could, you could goog on these things so that, you know, you take off the adhesive. I've seen other people also put washi tape on the bottom of the container and, in, and then the label seemed to peel off washi tape so much easier. I was thinking of doing that. But then, I don't know, I kind of like the cleaner look of the trays when, I mean, the containers when they don't have anything. So. So, yeah. I probably won't. I don't know. We'll see. I used to put my, lab my removable labels on masking tape and then cut them after I put them on the masking tape. So you could do that too, because masking tape is more removable. <sighs> so much. Okay. And probably since I'm not going to use those containers again. I just, I just pill containers from the Dollar Tree that I'm probably, probably not going to use these containers again that I'm like, eh. So, apparently, there's a lot of greens in these ones. I think those match, so that way I don't have so many trays out. Here's another green. And that matches that one. I actually think that one matches that one, just so that I'll have less things out and here's another green and that green is the same as that one and okay. 
And those are blue. Okay, these are all my greens. I need to stop closing my containers. Okay, so these things all have numbers. So let's see. Here, these are both 111. And I actually think they, this must be 111 too. So don't actually have that much 111. So Too much static so don't have much of 111 but now I have way more so I think I must have just not been diamond painting things that were using this color until this batch of diamond paintings so so 111 because maybe I was doing too many other color scheme stuff oh. Sometimes the problem with the Tic Tac containers is the lids are not... Oh wait, this one has 111 also. Oops. See, look! I go from barely having any 111 to having tons of 111. So yeah, this must have been just the color scheme I was doing for this batch of diamond paintings. Yeah, I could go from barely having a lot of 111 and to having an almost like a two-thirds full bottle. Okay, so 26 is very full. Yeah, I think this one's 26. So 26 is full already, so let me get my, apparently, this is the first time 26 has been full for me, so, oops. Because I'm only just putting it in there. And, let's see. 27. Do I have a 27? This looks nothing like 27. So, so I think this is just a bad color match, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to color, look for that color. 29. You know, I think actually 20, no, 20, 27 and 29 look very similar, that it's hard, no, this one is 27. Yeah, 27 and 29 look very familiar, that sometimes I'm like, I, I end up putting it in one over the other, just because I feel like 29 has just a slightly bluer tint, while 27 has, it's more just pretty much green. I don't know if that even makes sense. So. But I have tons of 27 now. Um, and 29. Even though, yeah, I put that in 27 even though it says 29 just because that's what matched more to me. Oh, I don't actually have 187. Alright. New color. So, bottle. And since I have been, a I was, I moved my ABs to a different container, um, I have more space to add more colors. So, 187. Now see, whenever I have a new color, I want to check to see if 
that color matches any of the stuff that I had not mixed in yet with anything. So, is this the same color? Let's see. I'm gonna pour this out. It's hard to see it when there's not that many. Well, yeah, I think this is it. So, yay! Apparently, I've been getting a lot of 187. It's just, I didn't know what it was yet. So, there you go. So, So at least I got rid of what was in this big container here. So now I know I have tons of 187. I just didn't know it at the time. And I think I think this one is 187 also. So yep, apparently I've been getting tons of 187. Just just didn't know it. So there. And then these are just all the ones that I called green that I couldn't find a match for at the time. But I think eventually I'll find a match for it, just like I did for, for that one. So 189, I actually do have it, and it does look like it. I just wonder if I'll be able to fit this minuscule amount into here. I probably already have a bag for 189, I just, if I could fit it into the bottle. All the more better. And that one says 188, and I actually don't have 188. Woo! Let's see. New bottle. So I'm getting a, a good amount of colors that I don't actually have already, so that's nice. I like that. So 188. I'm just going to pour this out here. And were any of these greens? No, I think they were all light, so I don't think this would match any of... Nope. So, 188. Oh, I have one more left in here. Let's... There, 188. So now everything else I'm just going to color match with with the stuff here. And if it doesn't even look anywhere near what it could possibly be, I'm thinking 26 is a pretty... No, that's not the right color. Or 28. Yeah, it looks more like 26. So 26 looks very full, so do I have a bag for it? Yep. So let's just add it to there. So 26, and let's see if I could find this one. Nope. Nope. Looks like 187. Nope. So let's put it into 187 here. There you go. So now I'm done with the greens. So usually next I do is blues. So I actually have these are all blue except that one, so there you go, lots of blues. So I might have tons of blues. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this one's actually green, oops. All right, so missed that one. So let's, I think this is, a very common color. It's 29 or it's 27. 
It's 29. Can I fit it? No, I'm not going to be able to fit it. Okay, 29. Got that one. So let's continue on for finding more blues. Lots of, there's going to be a lot of blue, apparently. That's purple. Okay, so I, I realize I need my next thing here, because blue starts here and then ends there. Um, so, that's purple. Okay. So now, I could put away some of these. And then blue. I put my blue greens in with my blues also, so. tape does t seem to peel off pretty well enough my double-sided tape because I, I I was like you know what why am I using this iron sticker maker um, double-sided tape is so much cheaper <laughs> and it does seem like the double-sided tape has been peeling off relatively easily it's not like super super easy but it's not been bad this one doesn't have any blues and Blue. And blue. Everything else looks like a special. Okay. So, let's see. Blues. So these ones don't have codes, so I usually take those out. And then this one doesn't have a code either. But I'm pretty sure that's number 50. Because I think... That's a very common blue. Yeah, that's 50. <laughs> it's okay. So, remarkable how. So, let's see. These all have codes. So, let's stand them up. Um, so, 37. You know, this one's 38. It does look like 38. Is there any other 38s? Nope. It does look like 38, and 38 is pretty much full. So, and do any of these else look like 38? Nope. So, oh, let me flatten that. So, 38. Where's my marker? Oh, there it is. So, okay, so this one says it's 46. Do I see another 46? Because I think that's the next number I can see. Yep, and that looks like a pretty good match. But it's not going to come out of the container. So. 46, and this doesn't look like any of the other ones. And then I think the next one I see is 47. This one is 40. These two are both 47. And they look, they look like a good match. And it does look like a good match of 47. Just there's just too many. So, and does this look like any of the current ones here? Nope. So, 47. Yeah, these, it doesn't pour out well from this thing. There, 
47. Okay. My Tic Tac containers are piling up. <laughs> and then let's see. 48. I actually don't have a bottle for 48. Ooh, yay. Okay, so here's a new bottle. Let me see if I have my 48 sticker. There. And remarkably, I think it looks like this one. So that I wonder if that means that I actually have this in my spares that I don't have DMC um, matches for. So let's see, blue. It's this one. I have tons of this one. <laughs> so yay! I don't know. I don't know why I'm excited. It's just now I finally actually have the number for it. So now And I have so much of it that I'm gonna have to put it into my baggie. And I probably don't actually have a bag made for it. So. So let's see, 48. And let's get a bag for it here. So it seems like my whole like system of is actually working out eventually once I find out which one is the right color. Because I was very tempted, okay, so 48. I was very tempted to buy, like there's a multi-pack of um, crystal rhinestones that I was very tempted to buy because I wanted to have like all the colors and have me be able to match them. But I do so many specials. Like this is just leftovers. I have not bought any of these. That it seemed like a waste of money for me to to buy that um to buy it. So 49. Yep, that's a good match. This totally looks like 50 also um 50 is like the number one thing that I see all the time. But this one totally looks like it too, so I'm okay with putting this in, in 49 even though I think it's 50. Um, but yeah, I was I was very tempted to buy the, the pack with the 175 um, rhinestone colors, but I was just like, eh. Do you know how many, do you know how many spares I have? It just seemed, it seemed like I would be drowning in drills. And so I was like, you know what, eventually I'll be able to match these up. I do enough of them, I'll be able to match them up. <laughs> it seems like it's starting. So, okay, so this one's, these are all 170 and they look like a decent enough match. And where is my 170 bottle? <gasps> I actually don't have a 170 bottle. Okay, so. I apparently have gotten this, haven't gotten this with the 170, naming it as a 170 before, so. One seventy here, and let's just pour these over a tray in case. There. Might just be easier. Now that one came out nicely. So I went from not having 170 to looking like I'm kidding it down for three times. Um, but I, I bet, I wonder if I have this color just not matched up with anything. 
so. Up. So, I mean, this is probably, I probably called this more blue-green, but... What did I just add? Did I add 40? Was it 48? Or was one... I don't know. I think at some point I'm gonna have... Was it 40? I don't remember. Okay, so never mind. I'd have to probably go back. No, wait, I already figured out what... This, I don't have that one yet. So, it's probably... Probably put it into the blue green category. Nope, I actually don't think I have this as a So, yeah, okay. 170, new one. So, 172, and I actually have 173. Ooh, that's a new, new one too. My 172 here does not match what I have here, but I feel like this 173 matches this. So, um, in the interest, since this one says 172 and this one matches 173, I think what I'm going to do is make my 173 bottle here, make that my 173 bottle and make this my 173 bottle so that it would match this and then I'd have a 172 <laughs> bottle because it matches this. So yeah, not the most, but I have something that tells me this is 173 so I'm good enough with that. <laughs> It was just at some point I got something that was labeled 172 and I, it was the other color. But I do really believe that like if there's not enough of something, I wouldn't be surprised if the Diamond Painting Company gives you the slightly different sh shade, but it's just one number below. Um, and then wait, do I, since I made a new 172. Do any of these match? Just... I kind of, kind of feel like I have to pour it out. You know what? I do think this one matches, so. Apparently, I've been able to match up a whole bunch, so now I have, yay, I have much fewer Tic Tac boxes. I've been just keeping the, the labels out there just because I figure, eh, at some point I might need them again. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Today has been a productive um, kidding down because I've been able to match up so many more of my DMC lists, I mean my crystal code lists drills. Kind of think it's this one. And there's just the, enough space to keep it on top. Nope. Yep, it's this one here and I think there's just the amount of space that I'll be able to fit it at the top there and this last one you see now that looks lighter I think else looks kind of dark Nope, nope, nope. So, I wouldn't be surprised. It's this one. So, I just have to figure out what this color is, and I'll have tons of this one. <laughs> okay, so, now we're just going to do everything else, because my purples and browns I don't have much of. Um, and... 
Oh, these are all specials. And these are also all specials. Oh wait, is this? I missed this one. This is an orange. see if I'll find it. I think it's 74. So I have tons of this one. Eh, I forgot to put my marker there. So at least I found that one quickly. And these are all specials. So Next part will be specials. Okay, so here it's going to be included in my browns. So what I realized, I don't need this first bottle. I mean, first this other container. So now we're just onto that one. And then here's some purples. This this double-sided tape is not peeling off nicely. Hey, okay. I have some drill there, and that one peeled up nicely though. And up here, this is a brown. But yeah, purples and browns, I just don't have that much of them. But I've been I put my colors in the 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 you know the the rainbow order, Roy G Viv. So violets in the end. And then brown was not in the rainbow color, so I'm like, I don't know where else to put it. Um purple. And then all these other ones are specials. So This one actually has a good amount of purple. Oh man, did I miss a pink? That's a pink. Oops. I'll have to go get one of my other trays for that, but that's okay. Let's see. Brown. My poor pill boxes. I got these from the Dollar Tree. I'm probably never gonna use them again. Unless I have a like really, really tiny diamond painting that I don't know. That has maybe it's like a regular drill one that has no DMCs, because I don't do anything to those. Those just when I'm done with them, they just get put into a baggie and I put them into another baggie that has the colors by um, has the baggies by like I group all the colors together, but I don't mix them together. I don't bother color matching them. It's just the DMC. Like I've tried doing the color matching the DMC list drills. It's just too much effort, and I'd rather diamond paint. And as much as I like um, the kitting down process, there's a point where I'm just like, nah, that just seems pointless. So okay, so let's do the purples. Since that's first on the list here, so we'll move these browns off to the side a little bit. So purples. This one says it's 56. Do I have a 56? Did I put this in a different... Let me make sure I didn't put 56 into my pinks or something. Just in case I'm going to take my pinks out. No, I didn't put 56 into my pinks. Um, so does that mean I don't, I didn't make a container? For, yep, I don't have a bottle for 56. So no, let's do, let's do this one since 56 is earlier in the containers there. And I don't know if this is a purple. It's like a really dirty purple. So I'm actually getting a good amount of like, colors that I don't ever have ever gotten. 
Um, and I see a 53 there. And I don't think I have a 53 unless it's in my pinks. So, wait, I have another bottle. Get my 53. Although the swatch for 53 looks more pink. Um, here. Yeah, see, that's probably a... You see, this is like a pink or a purple. Um, I don't know. But either way, I don't have it in pink or purple. Um, the swatch looks more like a pink. This one looks like, I don't know. Yeah, let's see. I, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll match those two, my other ones later. Let's see if I have any more. So those are browns. So let's see. 158 here. I don't, I don't have a 158. Nope, okay, I'm getting them. Oh wait, 158 is a pink. Looks like a pink. I don't have 158 as a pink either. Oop. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, now, making use, getting more colors. So, 158. Yeah, I think this is a pink. Pink, purple, pink, 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 purple. So I'll, I'll match that up later too. So 159. Oh, I do have 159. And they do match. there and 160 I don't have 160 okay so I'm getting a lot of new colors today I don't think yeah I don't have, I have 159 I don't have a 160 so new bottle for 160 So yeah, like I said, this this kidding down has been very productive in adding colors to my, <laughs> and I'll have to match up whatever whatever I have in my Tic Tac containers in there because I could very well have that color in there, and then one sixty four. I think it's it's good enough match, and. I do have 165 already. Okay. It's 165. Okay, so. But yeah, no, this has been a very productive kidding down where I've increased a lot more of my bottles here so so everything else does not have these two last two don't have DMC's or DMC's these are crystal codes so let me see if I could find them I don't know if this is a pink um let's see Maybe. no that doesn't look like any I actually think it's this one so it's maybe it isn't a pink. Okay. So that other one's a very light purple, which from look seeing, look seeing, looking, I don't think I have that as anything there. So let's look at what I have here for purple. Cause I actually don't have that many. I actually think this one looks like that one. So until I find a match for these and do any of my new ones look like any of these. Let 
Nope. Okay, so I think I still have a couple of violets that I don't have a match for. But now I have so many more purples here that I'm going to have to move things around. Let's see. 53, 56. Actually, that works out right there. Um, and then 158 will make me move. Here's 160, 159, and 158. And there's more there. Okay, so I think I don't need my that one anymore. So now, now let's do the browns here. So these are both 68 here, and this is the 68. So we're 68. Don't tell me with with three 68s I don't have 68. Um, apparently I don't. So new bottle for the browns. And if anything, the, the little color swatch looks more like a pink for 68, but I saw these and I thought, brown. So it's going in brown because I would never think of looking for this in pink. Yeah, that looks the same. So the color swatch is not, it's just a guidance, I guess. <laughs> So, and does this look like any of these? Nope. So, new 68. I will match it up to my browns at the end. Well, not at the complete end. So. Okay, there... So kidding down would probably not take as long as you, you're doing them all up, if you weren't doing it like me where you're doing it all at once, but I feel like I save more time doing them all at once because then I only have to take out my containers once instead of, you know, having to take out my containers multiple times because I have lots of containers and taking them out is just so much more effort. And that's why I do the masking downs too for my regular drills. So this one, this one is this one. So then, you know, I only have to take out my boxes, you know, the one time instead of taking out the boxes like four times to kit down four different diamond paintings. So, so these, let's see if I have a match. Actually, kind of like this one here. And oh, this one. Finding the matches quickly, that one. I actually have the grays and the browns together. Um, nope. Nope. I have a lot of this one. I wonder if this is a, no, this is not a yellow. Nope, I don't have this one. So let's look in here. I do have I do have a bunch of browns that I don't have a match for and I want to see if I match anything else so I actually have a lot of, I think these two are the same color, I just ran out of space until I figure out what that is. I won't know what it is. So I don't have any more of this, unless this is a yellow. Is this like 23? No. Or 22? No. Actually. Does this look like 22? If I get the one in the baggie, look. Let's see, I'm trying to find... No, 
doesn't look like 22. Oh no, wait, it looks like 195. Ooh, that's what that looks like. 22. So let me take out 195. Because I was like, I think I, ha I must have this, right? I must have this. Do I have a, a sticker for 195? There. Yeah, this looks like 195. I just put this in orange instead, or yellow. So. That's where the colors sometimes you're, they kind of are hard to, to give categories to. So yeah, okay. So I found that one, so yay. So now after an hour and 30 minutes, I'm not really done yet because I still have to do the specials. <laughs> but I finished my rhinestones, so. I'm going to make a space for this one, and 68 would go right there. Of course, it's in the beginning. So let me move these back here. Because I have them in order of number, but by color category. Brown and gray put together because there's just not enough of them to separate them out. And sometimes the colors they choose for them look very much like each other. So now, now we're on to the special shape ones. So, so for these ones, I think I might just take them all out. I, I'm just going to just take them all out because it's hard to see. So I'm just going to take them all out and get them as needed. Cause, and that's why I don't do these all at once, even though I do have a couple more of these ones to get down. Otherwise, I'm kidding down everything else. I have, this is like everything that I have that I've already recorded the, you know, finished video. I actually have a couple that are already finished, but I'm still waiting for a couple of the other ones to finish so that they could be in the finished video together. Um, so those, I won't... So yeah, even though I'm kidding these down, there are a couple more that need kidding down, but I'll just hold them off for the next time. My next mass kidding down event, right? Because <laughs> they seem to all be mass kidding down events now. <laughs> Okay, so now this one's empty, and I mean, I'm going to do the clears first anyway, so, ooh, the gold drills, I really like the gold drills for whatever reason. More trays, there. So much color uh, matching, it's just more shape matching, shape and size matching, so. Because there tends to not be as many colors for these ones, just just a matter of like, yeah, like I said, shape and size matching. Sure, you're still matching the color, but usually there's nothing that's multiple of the same thing. Okay, so, and then I'm going to just take out all the ones from the Tic Tac containers too, just because apparently that's how it how how I have to do it so that I can see what they are. Okay. And then and now I can start putting back some Tic Tac containers into here. I have the ones that I emptied from before or maybe I should do it later because they're just gonna all fall down okay so 
I'll be able to kick up some more specials in here eventually. I mean, I was able to kick up four things in this thing, so it is pretty effective. empty. Okay, so I know th these two are, are regular drills, but they're kind of specials. So let's get everything else out. Apparently I don't have that much left in there, so might as well empty that out. able to empty this one out. <laughs> so many. Oh, I don't have enough, any more containers, so I'm thinking of just getting one from here so I can fill it there. So that's empty. Okay, everything else I don't have that much of, so I'm still gonna just do the clears first. So that's clear, clear, clears and blacks. So, and these are clears, blacks, and whites. There. So let's, these are white. Clear, lots of clears. Oh, this one doesn't have anything. And that's another clear. So, these are empty that off to that different place and then oh yeah these ones are the ones stuck together um might just take them all out and put them into trays since they're stuck together and i have plenty of trays because you know i have a lot of diamond paintings and each diamond painting comes with a tray so that's how many diamond paintings I have. How many trays I have. I have thrown away some trays because I've been I use them for like, like sometimes um, I put glue on it and then I and then I toss it after I'm done with it because I'm not gonna bother cleaning my green trays because I have so many of them. Okay, for whatever reason, the double sided tape on this one is really sticking to the container. While the other ones were relatively easy to peel off. So blue there. More trays. It's it's very messy, but there's a it's, I'm just doing this mainly because these are the ones stuck together. So I can't just take them out. So they're all gonna go on a tray anyway. And these don't have any of the codes. Now, I, I, I'm wondering if I should just not care about the codes anymore for the specials since they, they aren't as consistent. And I can see what the things are just based off of looking at it. empty so still just gonna look for the clears for these other ones so that I don't have so many things on my table and no clears in there okay so clears okay those are clear too so all of these don't have codes, so I'll just pour them out. Those are the heart shapes. And 
another tray here. So this is a black one. We'll do that. So, so let's do, let's see. That's, that's the same on, on that one. And then that's a bigger one. You know what? It's hard to pour from the trays from the, these containers anyway. So, and I like to put the round ones together first because those are next to each other. Is this the same size? Yeah, it's the same size. And I don't know if this is clear or is it a blue? I think this is a blue. Yeah, that's a blue. Um, so marquees. Oh, let's see. This one is this one. And those are teardrops. So big teardrops. And smaller teardrops. Are these the same size teardrops? No, those are bigger. An even bigger teardrop here. <laughs> and that's a different teardrop. Too many teardrops. Okay, so. This one, yeah, that's a that's a different teardrop than that one because it's more pointy. And oh, I'm running out of I'm running out of trays that I have at least with me here, and this is like a skinny marquee. So yes, very chaotic. Sorry, it's more. So there, those are all the clears. So. Or the whites and the clears. Okay, so now, oh, black is actually my first one. This one, is it this size? No, that's smaller. No, that's still smaller. Needs to go one up bigger. Yep, it's this one. Oh, it's it is D ninety three. I actually have a label for that one. Hey. Okay. So now I'm on the clears here. So clear rounds I have in the begin first part. So that's, that's this one. This is this size here. Apparently have a lot of that one. And then don't have that one. It's this one here. And I don't have any more clear rounds, so that's that category. And then there's the clear marquees, which I only have that one. Everything else is, no wait, this one. This one's a marquee. It's, it's this one. I accidentally put that in the back. Oh well. Uh, in back of the piece of paper instead of in front of it. Are these the same size? No, those are bigger. Okay. You can see my size perception, not the best. <laughs> so now I have my clear teardrops here. Oh wait, that's a clear marquee also. Um, and I'm pretty sure I don't have this one, so I'll make a new bag for it. Here, there. So put that in the back. So clear teardrops now. Don't have this tiny one. That's not. That's too small. It's. Is this one the right size? Yeah, it's this one.
and this is the next size up. And is it this one? Yep, it's this one. And I don't have that one, so that'll be a new bag. Here, there. And, and then next is my clears that are not any specific shape, just everything else. Do I even have any of those? Oh. Do I have the heart shaped ones? I have star shaped ones. Ooh, I have heart shaped ones. Are these the same size? Yep. So I do have these heart shaped ones. Okay. So, and then next is white. So the white rounds, I actually have a lot of. So let's see. Is it this size? Or is it that size? It's the smaller size. So. Oh, I think it actually was the bigger size. I actually have two sizes in there now. Oop. Oh well. Oh well. I'm not taking those. These are bigger. Yeah, I think I accidentally put some bigger ones into this small one. Oh well. Okay, so that's all my white rounds. Apparently I have a lot of white rounds. So, next, um, I'll, I'll leave the weird specials for later. So next I usually do red. So, let's see. Do I have any red here? This is red. These are red. What color is this? That's a blue. What color is this? Of course you know when it pours onto the tray, like it's upside down. Here. That's the orange. Okay. So here's some reds. None in there. None in there. So. And this one. And let's see if I could. I'll just take these out here. I don't have that many left in there. And then let's fill up the box again here. Oh, if I have a random drill in there, I'm just going to throw that away. Yay! Another box. And this one I don't see any reds in. Okay, so I only have very few reds, so red circles, rounds. So it's this one, it's that one. And then is it this size? Yeah, that's this one. See, sometimes the size is even harder to. <laughs> no, it's not that hard to match. I'm just apparently I don't have size perception, so. That one. And then it's this size. We got that one. So yeah, so many specials. I've actually had to go into here before because I ran out of specials. I feel like the specials you're actually more likely to run out than lots of other things. Is that the same size or is this because this is the only one I have. 
Yeah, it's the same size. I, I, I found, I, I sometimes run out of the specials, and, um, and I only run out, like, one or two. So it's, like, it's nice to have it in here. I mean, although there ha was a time where I ran out of something and I didn't actually have enough of it. Oh, no, I didn't run out of it. They actually gave me the wrong, the wrong size. It was, like, the right color, but the size was wrong, and then, so I was like, okay, let's look at my... In my spares, do I have any of this? And apparently, I had some, but it was not enough to finish to do the whole diamond painting. So yeah. So now let's do the yellows. I don't know. See, are these yellows? Or no, pinks. Pinks are my next thing. So pink. You can do that. Pink. 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 So. Pink. I don't know if that's pink or some orange. So pink, 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 and this one's a pink. There you go. So I think I'm just gonna leave the stuff that's in the Tic Tac container in there because it's easy to see, and I'm I'm like 90% sure I don't have that at all. So, <laughs> cause that's, I'm looking at it like, I don't think I've had that drill before. Um, are these the same size? Yep. I look at it and I'm like, no, I don't think I have that drill before. And these are smaller. See, the thing with the these ones, like I said, mo most of the stuff that you're comparing is the size and not the shade because even though there are two pinks of sh shades of pink here, they're just like two. So. And... Keys there. And... I don't know if this is a pink. This is an orange. That is an orange. And this one here. This one looks very similar to regular diamond painting drills, but it's actually a tiny bit bigger. Um, I was I remember looking at it, I'm like, oh no, that's bigger. Um, so let's do the rounds first. It's this one is this size here. I don't actually have that one, so I'm gonna get a new bag for it. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. So. so. And that's bigger. It's this one. And then this one, is it this size? Yeah, it's this size. The clear trays do not make good matching, color matching trays. I just... Most of my trays are actually the, the green ones, so I have to go through my diamond painting kits. I have like a... I just have this box where it has all my diamond painting kits that I take out of all the stuff I unbox. <laughs> I have to go through it just so that I can find... Remarkably, I actually have this one. I, I was thinking, I don't have that one. I have very few of it, but I have it. So there's my marquee, and I'm pretty sure I don't have this. These are my only marquees, so new bag for this one. usually kind of like to put them in order of size. Sometimes I've been doing them in order of shade too, but I just don't have that many. So now teardrops, let me see if I even have this one. Is that the same one? See that one has an AB coating, so no, it's not the same one. 
Okay. Oh, my piece of paper is too far up. So I do put the piece of paper in there to help it stand up a little. You can just get thicker bags, but for now, that's how it is. So next, I'm going to just do yellows and oranges. So orange, orange, and then the golds get put into the yellows for me. So gold, up, gold, some yellow here. These are yellows. And going forward, these are yellows also. So plenty of trays on the side here. So let's see. This is a yellow here. And here's another yellow. I think I'm just going to take out the rest of the boxes from this one since it's pretty much empty and there's a yellow. Let's see if I can combine things here. So, so many to kit down. <laughs> I, am, I am kidding down and kidding up for two now. At least while my mom's with me. Don't anticipate this <laughs> much getting down after my mom's gone with, from, well, not gone, but like not living with me anymore. Because I'm just not going to, you know, I'm not going to be able to have that sheer quantity that I'm doing now with her with me. So, so that, yeah, that's why my videos are extra, extra long now. It's just that I'm kidding down so many more so there perhaps if I remember I could I could put the empties into there so let's see okay so these are different shades and oh, this is put all the rounds together and put all the marquees together like I don't know. So, massive teardrops. Not as massive teardrops. <laughs> of course, they all fall the other direction. And let's see. I get that one a lot, actually. It's like a round AB-ish drill. I actually think this one is the same thing. <gasps> no, it's not. It's just too small. It's too small. Ah, it looks, it looks the same. It's just smaller. No. Okay. No, that one's just, it's too small. Okay. I think I got it. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked at the codes. They actually did have codes. Um, so I need more trays. So. Tiny, 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 tiny teardrop. Super tiny. Those are like my least favorite drills to diamond paint with, just because they're so small and then there's only one orientation you could do for them that it's just... Is this the same size? I don't want to have to like, ah, no! Um, This one. It's not the same color as that. I wonder if I put this in brown um, instead. Move these to the teardrop section. 
And I need one more tray. Okay, so I think these might be in brown. I probably put them in with the browns because that's where I, I'm thinking. So I'm just going to hold off on those ones until later. So, okay, and none of those match. Nothing else matches. No more matching. Okay, so orange, I kind of put all together because I don't have that many of them. So, is it this size? Can't tell. Is it the right size? Because I was, I was off. That one's a bigger one. So, yes, it's this is this one. Oh. And that one's slightly bigger, which I apparently don't have the slightly bigger one. So. And I know I have tons of this one. Wait, are they the right size? <laughs> See, now I'm paranoid. Yep, they're the right size. Now I'm... I don't know why. See, my number doesn't even match. That's why I've stopped ma trying to match the numbers. Because I'm like, eh. It's not going to match anyway. So, there's my orange ones. Everything else I've just put into yellow. So, the round yellows um, also includes my gold. So... I think that's that one. So gold and then is that the same? Yeah, that's the same. This one. It's actually in one of my small bags up. It's not, it's this color here. And I accidentally ripped my baggie. This is not the best baggie. I might not use it anymore. Um, or as long as it doesn't rip more. It's all okay. So, do I have that one? Is it? This one. Okay. And this one is it that's that's actually these are the same. So and the next size up. It's this one there. Okay, got all the round yellows done, which I have apparently a ton of. Okay, so yellow marquees. It's just, it's only that one. So, do I have that one? It's this one. Okay, yellow marquees, and then now yellow teardrops. So I do have this tiny, tiny teardrop here. And then, let's see, do I have any of these other ones? Is this, that's that one. And and then I don't have this one, because I, I don't see it, so... And... Okay, 
and because I, I was like, I don't see it. And then is this one the same as this? Yep, it's the same as that one. So I do have that one. Okay. So on the home stretch, I think we're on the home stretch. <laughs> Let's see. Green is usually my next one. So that's my only green. And then this is green here. Um, and none of these are green. So this might be my green here. So I don't even have brown greens. Let's see. My marquee greens. That's all of my marquee greens. I don't actually have that one. So new bag. And where does this go in size wise? It's there. And then my teardrop green. Oops. What did I throw out? Gray. Oops. which I don't think I actually have a gray special shapes. <laughs> Teardrop green. Oh, wait, it, I do actually have this one. Okay. And then... Then I usually do blue. And then everything else will be together. So blue. These are blue, these are blue, nope, these are blue also here, those are blue. So many trays. Okay. So. That's the same blue there. So let's take these out so it's easier to see. Those are purples. And blue here. And this one's blue also. Okay. So there's the blues. So blue rounds, I actually have a lot of. So maybe not take them all out. So I'm gonna just put a marker there. So I actually have that one. And just a small baggie, but I'll just leave it in there. Don't feel like taking it out and putting it into a bigger bag. Okay, so that. And then. That's not that one. It's that one's that one. These are the rest of them. So that one's that one. There. And see. I actually don't have that one. It's it's a bigger size, but not that I don't have that color. So that's a new one. And this bigger blue one is here. I apparently have a lot of the blues. Oh, they're getting all mixed up now. Um, they're in by um, size. So this bigger one is in the back. And then Let's see. Do I have this one? Let's 
that's a that's a smaller one, so I don't actually have this one. I mean, the one I have is smaller, so I don't have that one. So that's. So, yep, getting some new ones here. So let's put that in with the by size. Maybe I should just put it by shade, but with all these different. Okay, so next I have my blue teardrops. So, wait, I think these are all the same. So. Let's see. Doesn't look like I have that one, so... Because it's not in with the things with by size, so... There's a new one. Put that in between there. And then this one is... This one here. Perhaps I'll move it to a bigger bag the next time. Okay, so... There's all the teardrops. I mean, the marquees. So next is the teardrops, which is I only have that one. So it's a question if I even have it. Because I'm thinking I don't. Nope. First time getting this one. And let's see, by size, it probably will go here. So, on to purple, which is not that many. And then we're almost done. Woo! This is. This is a very long video because, you know, I just did everything that I had. So instead of like count, I, I, I was, I was actually like counting the containers and just only doing the ones that I, I had, um, like I, I just was counting containers and I was just only doing a certain amount per video. And I'm like, eh, I'm never going to finish if I, if I do it that way. So. So then I was just like, okay, let's just let's just do it all. I'll find my maybe my next one will be much shorter because I did a lot this time. But so last couple ones, and then I'm I have my specials, which I put in some or uh, my A B drill, and then this is a glow in the dark. So so let's see. So purples. So. I don't think I have this one. So I actually have a good amount. Oh, I didn't I didn't separate out my purples into different shapes because I don't get it that much. So I'm pretty sure I don't have this one at all. I have a lot of this because this is the one um, that I got the wrong size for. It's the right shade, but I got the wrong size and I it was like a tissue box that I did, and so I made do with what I had. So next, it's it this one? Yep. Or is it this size? No, that's much bigger. So probably should move that into a bigger bag. Not at this point. Let's see. Oh, this one. That one. I think at the time I was doing this, I didn't have that many bigger bags, so I just used my smaller ones. Okay, so now these are the rounds finished. Teardrops. I don't... Yeah, it's this one. I was like, is it this one? Such tiny drills. And then go 
I have this? Yep. Okay. So there's my purple ones. And then now I just have brown, whatever I considered brown or gray. This one is this one. And that one is this one. And there's the specials there. And now these ones will actually just go into so my black AB my bottles full. So then I'll just go to my oh, it's backward. My excess. So this is actually a cookie tin from Christmas. So so I'm gonna put my black ABs in here because my current one over there was full already. And this is actually a glow in the dark drill. So I have what I call my 5200 glow. So and I know it was glow because it says YGT. Um, I don't know, that seems to be the code they go for, the glow in the dark ones, so. There! Yay! So, now I can <laughs> finish putting away all my Tech Tech containers here. Um, I don't actually use my Tic Tac containers that often um, for kitting up. I need to use them more. Um, mainly because it's usually good for something if you have lots of colors. Um, otherwise, most of the time, it's overkill. So that's why I kitted up four diamond paintings with this um, container. So... That might be what I have to do because, you know, I run out of containers, but I do have some nice, shiny, not sh I don't know about shiny, oh, this one's backwards, empty containers now. This is probably the longest video I've ever done. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. I finished kidding down everything. So um, that is all for today. So thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.